Little do the horses know. I've fenced off a new area for them. Come back here. Hey, hey, Brindle, leave it. No, no, leave her be. Poor Miss Daisy Rose is really a bit shook. Come on. Brindle, leave it. They think they're going back to more hay. So I'm letting them think and graze before they get to their electric fence gate. But at the end, there's going to be a little paddock of grass for them. So they think these are the last bites of grass. Come on. Well, you deserve that. Sorry. Anyway, those two are gonna go, yay! Miss Daisy Rose is plod, plod, plod. Poor Miss Daisy Rose really isn't well. Well, not well. I mean, she's well, but in a lot of pain. Isn't that right, Inca? So this is the pathway for the horses. You can see the hay, the rotten bales of hay are spread on the ground to feed the soil, organic matter. This area is a very shallow shelf. You can see I can't even get the um, stakes all the way down because the shelf of limestone is very close to the surface. Some places you can get it down and then other places there's hardly any. You can see like right there. So this is limestone shelf. And putting this down hopefully builds soil up. Anyway, there they are. They have a paddock. And in that paddock are all kinds of species of grasses and vetches and daisies and dandelions and um, herbs and all kinds. It's taking years to get this all right. But the horses have a lovely selection in here. And they will eat the docks and the daisies and the dandelions. Yes, I said they'll eat the docks. They will eat the docks. And there's four or five different kinds of grasses in there. Sweet vernal, rye, orchard, or coxfoot, depending who you are. Um, Yorkshire fog, Tiffany. And then there's clovers. There's red clover, white clover. You can see there's dandelions, daisies. See, I don't know if you can see. If, there you can see those little white things. Those are, yeah, lawn daisies, but they're still daisies of the daisy family with tannins in them. So they only have a paddock. Look at the crab apples are beautiful. They're in bloom at the moment. So this is where they have been, and I've been building the soil through the winter with uh, bale grazing them on just this. I bale grazed them around one bale uh, a week for a period of time, and then here I did a load of bale grazing just to feed the soil organic matter and build the soil up. Look at the clouds. Beautiful day. Beautiful cloudy day. No, beautiful clouds on a beautiful day. That's more like it. The beech trees are just beginning. Their leaves are just beginning to emerge. So it's a gorgeous day. So the horses will have this paddock for two days and then I'll make another paddock and another paddock and another paddock. So that is a kind of mob grazing. I don't have enough of a mob of horses to do it, but anyway. The horses are looking 
slightly grim and rusty looking because they're shedding out their winter coat. But where their winter coat has been shed out, they've, they're beautiful and glossy, really beautiful and glossy. But mostly it's a winter coat, which is dying. Look at her rump end. You can see the rump end, beautiful and glossy. But the rest of their coats are still winter and dying off. So they look kind of moth-eaten, I would call it. She's looking very moth-eaten. She's half shedding and half not shedding. So she's definitely looking moth-eaten, poor girl. But she's also in pain. And Butte is not uh, doing what it needs to do. Butte being a painkiller for horses. <sighs> so I might have to come to a decision because she's losing weight and is not in a good way. Poor Miss Daisy Rose. Yeah, she's very skeletal. She's got a big belly on her. And she, I mean, she is still happy, even though she's kind of moth-eaten. Maybe once she's shed out her winter coat, she'll look much better. Maybe I should make decisions later on. The problem is she is in a pain. I don't like animals in pain, in pain. And when the painkillers aren't working, it's just, it's not fair. But she seems to be enjoying herself. So maybe I'll let her shed out, graze some grass, and maybe she'll get better in the summer heat. But her back end, her hips are just really hurting her at the moment. Could be because of the yo-yoing temperature. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna leave the horses do their grazing. You can see the sheep are over there in that part of the paddock.